Hello world. I am thinking about, you know how you hear about don't have any expectations? That's a tough nut to crack. But I'm going to get into it. Uh, so no expectations means that, sure, sometimes you expect to be treated with respect and when it doesn't happen, if it doesn't happen, then we get into the world of boundaries. <laughs> so boundaries and no expectations are very different. Um, I'm learning this year. So tackling first the no expectations. Um, there's a lot of surprises in life and we don't know what's going to happen. Now, I like to expect things will go really well and better than sometimes they actually do. It keeps me on an even keel, um, but by the same token, no expectations for something to be bad if you really don't know the outcome, which we seldom do, if never. So, what I'm saying is this no expectations rule is well I guess I wouldn't it's a practice rather than a rule but things go more smoothly for yourself if you're not too attached to the outcome we've heard all of these sayings before but living them is quite different um, so say you're all excited about a new place you're going to visit and then you get there and it doesn't meet even your basic <laughs> needs. So, but if you didn't have any expectations about it, you probably wouldn't have been disappointed. Now, going into boundaries, say you had the hope in hell of thinking someone was going to treat you well and they didn't, but it doesn't really have to do with you. It has to do with them. And the only part that you have to do with it is your boundary of are you going to allow that bad treatment? So you don't have to allow it. Looking back, this pandemic has given me plenty of time to read my writing from the past three years, look at all of my realizations from the past 10 years and when you really dissect it you're allowing things that you didn't want to allow because you wanted some benefit that you didn't get you wanted to be loved you wanted to be accepted um, turned out to not be so great because you didn't get what you wanted now when a boundary has been crossed, you can let someone know, and then if it doesn't change, then you have to walk. So it takes courage and strength, but it, it's really just practice. And boundaries, hey, we gotta have them because it's like, it's like your values, what you value in life. And if you don't value yourself, then things will happen that you don't like. Um, it's happened to me. I didn't value myself enough to speak up, get out of there, do uh, whatever. And all the times that I have spoken up and valued myself, I've saved myself from heartache, from dangerous things, trusting my gut, traveling. So. Just let me leave you with this. Um, have clear boundaries and communicate those. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, there's everything right with it to communicate those boundaries. You start a romance, communicate boundaries. You start a friendship, communicate boundaries. And you can say it really nicely. The problem is when you say it mean because you didn't say it before. You didn't actually 
clarify what your boundaries were. So the person stepped on them and then here you are. So getting back to communicating clearly about it. Now some people won't care about your boundaries and will just step on them. Well, then it's another opportunity for you to love yourself and keep walking. And once you're away from it, for a while you're gonna to start to see that it was better and it wouldn't have worked anyway. No matter about your hopeful delusions, which I've also, myself included, experience so have a beautiful day i'm in the woods in lithia park in ashland oregon and i love it here i come here every day tall trees lots of green ashland creek so tell me what you think what you've done about maintaining your boundaries and how you've played with expectations. Let's call it played, <laughs> or been played. Um, I know I have, so thank you so much. I've been getting the greatest comments and interaction and shares and likes, thank you. It means so much to me. Such a great community here on YouTube and, and Facebook. So, see you in the next video.